AFTV, we're still here outside the ground. It's time to get into the player ratings tonight and a different type of player ratings because mm -hmm. uh, a lot of new faces yep. played for Arsenal today, DT, but they really, really stood up. And that was a, I thought that was a very, very good um, performance by those young kids under the circumstances. Yeah, it was. And um, I'm going to give all of them a five because I'm cold and I'm going. See ya. <laughs> 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 but um, no, they, they, they did. They played well. They played well. They done well. It was one of the best half before, first half performances I've seen us. We were winning at the end of the first half. I know, we just need to do it in the Premier League now. <laughs> we ain't done it this season yet in the Premier League. Right, so. Let's run through them. Um, Petr Cech in goal. Um, six. Didn't have nothing to do. True. Um, nothing. Was, no, Absolutely it, it, nothing. But what he did do, he was, you know, talking and, you know, mm. being the experienced leader on the pitch as captain. Yeah. So, six. Lish Steiner. Um, six as well. Same. <laughs> Experience. I can't believe the guy played in a short sleeve shirt. <laughs> um, can't really say no more. That kind of experience that the likes of him and Czech give to the team yeah. full of youngsters is invaluable. Yeah. Carl Jenkinson? Six. Um, I, I can say that I was alive when Carl Jenkinson played centre back and we kept a clean sheet. I'd give him more than six, man. I thought he played it, very well. No, do you know what? I, What's uh, with, listen, it, he, he, in, the, in the case of Czech, I understand, but. In the case of Jenkinson, you know, he played a role. He was very composed yeah, at the back, I, I playing in that, a different position, and he kept their players quiet, very no, quiet. I just, I just think that they were really poor. They yeah. never really put him under any threat, and I think giving anything over a six, it was, it was a good performance. That's harsh. I'd give him a seven at least. Well, you would, wouldn't you? But I'll give him a six. That's because, you know what I mean, I'm not a bloody the Grinch, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, holding. Uh, six as well done what he needed to do just you know he was kind of the experienced one in there yeah. um, out of the players they had to bring over with Socrates and Mustafi done what he had to do come off after 60 minutes job done go home Maitland Niles um, six as well done really well but like I said the back line they weren't really under yeah, any they made kind of them threat. they didn't they made sure no, that they were that. under they, no threat we were never really under any kind of real threat in my opinion i don't think we was under any real threat any real danger okay i can't think of anything where they were you know because, exposing yeah, any player they were in that composed back at the back and they made sure so that's yeah, what they, that's why it should be more than six they, but they teams were, still get chances to teams still give players a run for their money in the game and you could say you know what he had to work hard to shut that guy out today but they didn't really have okay. to work hard to shut them out because they were poor. Grindozi? Um, worked hard. What would you give him? A seven. All right, I'll give him a seven. It's cold. I'll just agree with you. I'll give him a seven. If you, give him a se you, you are sounding like Ty now, mm. right? El Nini? Five. <laughs> Works hard, but I think he gave the ball away quite a few times. And there was one incident in the first half as well where he lost it and the player nearly went through one on one. Um, yeah, we had no, to get second half, yeah, second half, um, yeah. Bad mistake, so, bad mistake. Yeah, that side of things. Yeah. How long will he be an Arsenal player for as well? You mm. think of that. But you know what? He, he does exactly what it says on the tin. He just works hard. Willock. Um, I'll give Willock an eight. I thought he played really well today. Great goal. Yeah, great, great goal. finish. I actually thought it was Eddie Nketiah. Yeah, that was a great he, finish. It's only just about five, 10 minutes ago I realised it was Willock. Yeah. I was Fantastic. so cold. I was like, yeah, that's Eddie. Because mm. why, why was Joe up there? But... Saying that, if you watch Joe with the under-23s this year, he's scoring goals. Mm. He's changed uh, a certain you know, side of his game. He's got a different dynamic now. I would actually give him a nine. I thought he was the man of the match for me. I thought he played exceptional mm. today. But, you know, we'll go with your eight. Uh, Ramsey? Um, seven. It was a decent performance. Worked hard. It's mm. difficult for him because you can clearly see now that he's mm. been kind of demoted as to this type of player for the games yeah. where you know the big players well, he's are very professional he yeah. does his job he does yeah. not moan in that's no. what i like about him i know and that's the main thing and like yeah. you said he's professional goes about his business he's either going to be gone in january or in the summer but he's not sulking and he's going about it yeah. so uh smith row um i thought he worked really hard today i'll give him an eight as well mm. i thought he worked i thought the young he scored lad, you know he yeah. didn't just work no, hard he no, scored but, and he had one disallowed mm. and he had one disallowed but i i thought the youngsters were the ones that kind of stepped up today yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'd give him an eight as well. Eddie, Eddie and Ketter. I'd give him an eight. Mm. I thought his work rate was really good. and Hold some play was brilliant. Yeah, and some of his take-ons, maybe yeah. that's some of the work that he's been doing with the likes of Lacazette and Aubameyang, mm. that he's learning. Look, very, a lot of his play was very similar to Lacazette. Mm. Very, very similar. Well. And, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, if you're training with these guys four or five days a week and everything else, you can't not learn 
mm. you know, you, you, you're going to learn off these guys. And mm. I thought some of his hold up play and the way he was taking players on and he was getting, you know, the crosses in and doing it, it was unselfish, mm. you know, and it, it's, I'm gutted he ain't on the score sheet. I actually thought he was, like I said, mm. but um, he can be he can be very pleased with his performance. OK, uh, we'll run through the, the subs quickly because they didn't really have a lot of time mm -hmm. to do much. Gilmore, what, so we give him all straight five. five. So was yeah, it Gilmore, uh, Saka and uh, Osu Tutu, was it? Yeah. Got, right, so they straight fives. They didn't really get a lot of time, but no. they came on, still were solid. And so yeah. well done to them. Manager today? Ten. Simple reason being, he had to make the changes, bring all these players over here, and he got the best out of them. Got the best out of them, 3-0, top yeah. the group, you he can't argue it, with exactly. that. He got the best, and you got to say, of them. decision was completely right to leave all the star players yeah. at home. He's completely vindicated, I yeah. agree with that. Fans today? 10. No, actually, 15, 20, just anything, just miles than anything. Because mm. for fans to be out here, even, even the locals that live around here that support Arsenal. Yeah, you heard that last guy, he actually lived in Portova. Yeah. So for him, you imagine he's journey. had to, yeah. it's gone in reverse for him and he's had to c come here and make, yeah. and now he's going to have to go exactly. back. I mean, so, so fantastic yeah. from the you know fans. What? There was, there was a lot of fans from back home that were over here today. And um, I think a lot of them got through it because the alcohol stopped them getting cold. <laughs> um, but uh, maybe I need to start drinking and I won't be so cold <laughs> when I come to places like this. But no, it's a dead rubber game. We're already through. Everyone's mind is on Spurs, mm. so it would have been very easy for everyone to go, yeah. nah, especially with what's going on as well and martial law and all this kind of stuff. But mm. the fans are solid. We've got such a great away support. And yeah, I'm, my marks are just give them whatever you want. It's through the roof, man. Mm. All right, so listen, that's it. 3-0, great win for Arsenal here away in Kiev in the Ukraine. It is very cold, but it's a very um, important win for Arsenal. They topped the group. <coughs> And also be able to rest all those players ahead of that big game. And not only that, topping the group means that even the next Europa League game, we can rest loads of players and play a similar team and really attack those Premier League games that are coming up. So all in all, very, very good for Arsenal. Very good result tonight. i do a photo shoot for our new merch with our new logo, AFTV. You've seen it. We're at Unique Capture Studios in Milton Keynes. And uh, I'm being modelled today. Yeah, why not?